This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm. For car accidents and negligent security cases, call Joe at 239-337-1191. By Crime Stoppers of Southwest Florida. Report crimes and get paid with nobody knowing your identity. 1-800-700-TIPS. And by Lee Health. Welcome to Lee Pitts Live, Southwest Florida. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that is what you think it is. That is the world famous Fort Myers Beach. And Lee Pitts Live is everywhere. We are here on Fort Myers Beach at Diamond Head Beach Resort. Uh, and the accommodations have just been outstanding. We are in the Coast Island Cuisine Restaurant, which is a part of the hotel, and the food here is to die for. We're so glad to be here. We're looking forward to uh, having a, a wonderful show here in this setting. Yes, I got a cool job. I get to go and chill on the beach and act like I'm working. We'll get a chance to find out what's going on with the Lee County bus system for the school district, how all of that works and what's happening and job opportunities there. We have representatives here from the Lee County School uh, Busing Department from various zones, Richard Perdue and Jared McKinney. We'll also get a chance to find out what's going on with the Constitution man, Joseph Cofield. I know if you say Constitution, you got to talk about the president of the Constitution for the people, Joseph Cofield. All that's happening on Lee Pitts Live. And we'll get a little treat of what goes on at Lee Pitts Live after work, the phenomenon that's uh, sweeping southwest Florida. All that's happening on Lee Pitts Live. We'll be right back. You are looking live at a, uh, a wonderful setting, southwest Florida. I'm glad you stayed with us here at Diamond Head Beach Resort. Big shout out to Neil for hosting us. Uh, Bump you in. Welcome to Leap is Live. Thanks for having Thanks us. And my man right there used to sell, used to rent me tucks back in the day, huh? Yeah, a long time ago. <laughs> okay. I appreciate those tucks, man. Used to keep me clean. Uh, that would be Richard. Um, you, you guys heard me early on saying, you know, something, the bus system, Lee County School buses or something. What's the proper name? You, you, you're the school district's bus. Go. School District of Lee County Transportation Department. Okay. And uh, the Transportation Department, just from talking to you guys off the air, it is a big operation. Now, within that operation, it's only buses that you guys are, are moving around or are there other vehicles as well? Uh, we do have a white fleet, uh, which is all of our maintenance trucks, uh, cars that we use uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, our safety cars as well. So uh, we oversee that uh, part of it as uh, part of our job description. I see. Richard, how long have you been doing the job? Uh, for transportation, seven, uh, about, no, wait, let's see, about 10 months and uh, 23 years with the school district. Okay. What qualify, what kind of qualification you have to, to have to do what you do as a director for, uh, administrator for, for uh, the West Zone? Um, a lot of it is on the job training uh, mm -hmm. within our jobs, um, but it's just a, a willingness to learn and, uh, you know, try to make the process as good as you can make it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jared, you were prior to becoming a administrator for the East Zone, senior administrator. It makes you seem old being a senior, but I hope you get more money with that. So, you guys, I guess there's a junior too. <laughs> uh, you were, what were you doing with the district prior to that? Um, well, when I first started uh, back in 02, 03, I started as a bus attendant. Uh, then I became a bus operator. Uh, then I went into the safety department. Uh, then I went into being a road safety supervisor, zone supervisor, and then here I am as a senior administrator. So oh. moved through the ranks. Oh, man, that, 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 that means that there is opportunity for people to look at you as a role model. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let's, let's go to, you said, a bus attendant. Yes, sir. Uh, so on each bus, there's a, a, an adult soup. What's a bus attendant? A uh, bus attendant it was um, the assistant that um, that works with the operator on the bus, and any bus that requires one. If we have students that require an attendant, then we'll have an attendant on the bus. For example, um, with our special needs program, um, some behavioral students um, and things like that require attendance. A lot, lot more involved. 
Yes. How uh, we got all these different zones? We got four different zones: east, west, south, and north. Is that where we go? There's three different zones, four compounds. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, each zone has its own unique things happening within that zone. Yes. Uh, give me some examples of something specific about your zone. Well, in my zone, um, I house the the most um, severely special needs students, which is the Buckingham Center. Um, it's a countywide program. It comes out of every compound, but it's housed in mine. So we mostly take care of those students and to ensure they safe ride every day. Mm -hmm. As we're sitting here doing this show, people need to know we tape these shows in advance, even though we're live on Sunday morning. You were telling me the technology, both of you have the technology that you, you're in touch with what's going on right now. Yes, sir. Talk about that technology. Uh, we have our GPS system. Um, we actually, every one of our dispatchers um, have radios that we actually have as well, the handhelds. Um, then we also have cell phones. We can also FaceTime, text, call, so that we can never be out of touch with everything that goes on within our zones. Mm -hmm. Now, um, Richard, mm -hmm. uh, the West Zone, what are some unique things about the West Zone? Uh, well, we are the second largest city landmass wise in the state of Florida behind Jacksonville, so we have a large city that we cover. Uh, on top of that, right now, the city of Cape Coral is going through a major um, infrastructure change with all of their plumbing and dual water and stuff like that. So we're constantly battling those elements uh, on a day-to-day -day basis uh, to try to get students to and from school in a timely yeah, manner. It affects the routes in oh, various absolutely. ways. Uh, from talking to Roger Lloyd, I would think he's not singing, but he's the director of transportation or something like that. Yes. He was telling me that um, there are not enough drivers right now to be on to keep the schedule the way you would ideally want it to be. There are job opportunities abound there and a person could actually go from soup to nuts and getting their certification to drive a school bus. I think in uh, three weeks, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Expound on that. Uh, well, as uh, they apply online, uh, they come in for an interview process. Once that's done, uh, we put them through our CDL program. Uh, where we have our trainers uh, walk them through all the requirements that they would need to be a uh, certified driver for school buses. After that, uh, once they're hired on, uh, we put them through some additional trainings for what we call walk around so they get to know the bus, all the equipment, different things that they would need uh, to be successful in operating a bus. Then after that, they go through testing, which we have uh, state certified testers here within our district. After that, they're hired and uh, we, get them out on a, we get them out on the road. Um, we're obviously not just going to throw them to the wolves, uh, so what we do is we try to put them on a steady route uh, that they can learn and train with someone and then we slowly turn that bus over to them so they are on that route uh, for three to four weeks. Uh, you know, they get real comfortable with it and as they become more and more comfortable, we'll uh, put them out to start covering and doing different uh, things for us. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What's one of the big adjustments, uh, Jared, that a person has to do to drive a bus? I mean, I drive a SUV. Mm -hmm. uh, is it heavier? I feel heavy. Uh, turning is a different mechanical thing, and do you have to shift gears and all that stuff? No, all of our buses are automatic, so mm -hmm. there's no shifting of gears. Actually, when you begin to drive a school bus, you'll think something's wrong with your car, because with all the mirror placements that are on the bus, you can't go wrong. Um, the biggest thing and the biggest adjustment that most people have to overcome is the size of the bus. Okay. You know, sitting in the driver's seat, looking up in the mirror, and you see all these seats and faces behind you. Um, but once you overcome that, you begin to drive, you get a little bit more comfortable. Hey, it's like driving a Cadillac. You're in there. Okay, why do we have so many job openings here in the Lee County District? Is it because of competition? People don't realize those jobs are there. Uh, they can't qualify. They have to pass a background test. What are some of the key things and, and, and encourage people to uh, come and apply? Well, right now, one of our biggest challenges is competition. Um, right now, the economy is booming, so people are hiring CDL drivers, um, a little bit more extra money. Um, and so they're going to do that. But we find a lot of times as those jobs begin to run out, um, as the economy goes down, then they begin to come back. So right now, um, and one of the biggest things you asked was to come was the hiring aspect. Mm -hmm. um, and to get people to hire me this it's a great job. I mean, a lot of people have kids. That's a big selling point where they like to be off with their children. So when the students are out of school, the parents are also off. They're off summers. We're off for spring break. Um, it's just a lot of people love that aspect so they can actually be home with their children. And you represent, the two of you, you represent two zones. 
There's another zone that's not represented here. I think that's James Buchanan. Yeah. James, I'm shouting you out, giving you a plug. <laughs> that's zone, mm -hmm. the south, south, south zone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, uh, any, can you speak a little bit about the south zone? Uh, south zone's a large zone as well. Um, it basically, if you think about the way we're broke up, the south zone is basically anything east of the Caloosahatchee River, south of the Caloosahatchee River, basically west of I-75 all the way to Naples. So it's a, it's a large zone as well. Same, same battles that we face in our zones, they, they face, um, you know, during the spring, obviously spring training definitely affects them. Uh, based on their location with the twins right around the corner. So, you know, each zone has its own unique uh, issues that we battle, but it's uh, something that we work with as a team to try to support each other in that in that aspect. Your main uh, opportunity there for employment is the bus drivers, right? Correct. There are other jobs within that structure, but right now we want people to know that there are jobs available. About how many jobs are available right now for bus drivers, do you know? Ooh, uh, I can't say we have an exact number. All I can tell you is more is, uh, than twenty-five. More than, oh, absolutely, more than, more than twenty-five. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we would definitely. I would say we're probably even over fifty if we were to be <laughs> yes. uh, be honest here. So if I'm sitting here looking at this interview on television or wherever people might be watching this on social media as well, I mean, there's no you you could get a job. Okay, yes. you mentioned. Um, that certification you gave some acronyms what's it called cd something or a cdl commercial cdl driver's license okay and that cdl when you go through your training you get your cdl right? yes you guys can certify a person with a cdl on the premise yes we have third-party testers okay so when they get their cdl from you do they go and skip and work somewhere else and then got the CDL? Some people do. <laughs> people do that. <laughs> get in their own heads. Some people do. So can you have some kind of agreement, a contract in place? I'm, I'm getting too technical here. Where you got to work at least a certain amount of years or a year with us before you go running off? Well, right now we don't have any binding contracts um, that have to go through our lawyer. Uh, so uh, maybe that's something we can look into. I know I would do that. You know, I, I got a, uh, an aquatics hmm. background. I don't know if you guys know that, but I'm pretty well known around the world and here locally for the work I did in aquatics over the years, swimming. Nice. And I used to certify those lifeguards <laughs> and they get their little certification and they go jump and work at another <laughs> pool. Right. You need to work right here, man. Uh -huh. So I used to have it like, uh, you got to you gotta work here at least two years, then you can go run off with your little certification and get a couple of more dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Back to the CDL, right? Yes. Okay, the um, CDL that went through What's the process? Does it cost you money well, to get into the system and get trained if you go through the Lee County School District? Do you have some? Do you have to pay a fee for that license? Well, right now all the fees are paid, or all the fee, all the fees are waived. Mm -hmm. um, they actually we're waiving those until 2020. So the, um, the cost of TB testing, um, which is tuberculosis, because every school district employee coming in has to take that test. Um, fingerprints, um, the uh, the fee to pay for your physical. All that's being waived. We actually even waiving the fact of having a diploma. Mm. So we're waiving all of that stuff for you to get mm. into it. The district is actually taking that cost. That is fantastic. And still within all of that, you still can't fort. They still doesn't care. <laughs> uh, okay, I wish I would. Uh, I know it might be some legal stuff around that, but uh, I know you guys are saying, whoa, you're going to hook them up like that. Okay, mm. now let's get back to before we wrap this up information on job opportunities where should people go we got your website on the screen uh that's the first place to go or they can can they talk to a human being as well yeah they could uh visit uh, leeschools.net obviously um that's the first place everything we do is starts that process through there uh, by going to the career section and applying for the job um and then they can obviously call uh the main district office and they will get them hooked up with transportation mm -hmm. at the 334-1102. They can definitely call that. Right. Yeah. Our show airs in the surrounding seven counties. Mm -hmm. People are looking at you in the surrounding seven counties, almost a million households. Do you find that people may want to come in from another county to do this job and you guys will hire them? Yes. We have people come from Naples. We have people come from Port Charlotte. So they come from all over to drive for us. Mm -hmm. Do you have to have some type of 
children's skills to be a school bus driver or are you just straight ahead i don't have to deal with children to get to this point to this point to that point no in our classroom um it's which is a 40-hour mandated doe course department of education uh, we cover all these aspects and actually one of the main courses we discuss is passenger management and um we always teach our, empl our employees that every one of you you're in charge of your environment and so, you know, in that process, they go through the class and then we actually have ride alongs so they get to actually physically experience what it is to be on a bus and how to maintain order. Mm -hmm. Final question to both of you. What's your uh, assessment of how safe our school buses are, a school bus trip for a child? Oh, very safe. Very safe. I didn't expect you to say anything differently. <laughs> <laughs> how much you pay? Um, starting in July, it'll be sixteen dollars an hour. Gentlemen, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. We encourage people to get in touch with uh, the district and uh, go out there and get those jobs, man. Yes, uh, absolutely. Please. All right, let me bump you out. All righty. Hello, everybody. This is Lee Pitts, the host of the award-winning Lee Pitts Live here on Fox Four. We appreciate you watching our show here on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click in below. Let everybody else know that they can subscribe as well. Also, when we're on the air on Fox 4, you can also catch us streaming live at 8.30 a.m. in the morning on fox4now.com. Just click on live and you get us all types of ways at your convenience. That's Lee Pitts Live.